Hello everyone, Gabe here, PC community developer here at Ubisoft, and it's been a hot minute since we've uploaded a video. It's been a hectic few months, but that's an entire video in itself. Today we're excited to talk to NVIDIA about their Reflex technology and the implementation of that into Rainbow Six Siege. We're also lucky enough to grab some time from one of them to answer some of your questions. So without further ado, let's get to it. Thanks a lot for joining us. Let's start this off then by who are you and what do you do? Hey, yeah, thanks for having me. My name's Seth Schneider. I'm our esports product manager for GeForce. I focus on things like 360 Hertz and NVIDIA Reflex, helping bring lower latency to gaming. So not everybody out there will be familiar with NVIDIA Reflex. Can you give us a quick rundown of what it is? Yeah, NVIDIA Reflex is a couple different things. First and foremost, it's our low latency platform at NVIDIA. It comes with a couple different parts. Uh, it's designed to both measure and optimize system latency. And so the optimization part is a game integration. So we have this thing called the Reflex SDK that game developers can integrate into the game to help give you, the gamer, lower latency. Additionally, we have something called the Reflex Latency Analyzer, which is a um, basically a separate piece of hardware inside your monitor that helps you measure full end-to-end -end system latency. So you take your mouse, you plug it into your monitor, and you can measure that click to actual display photon change latency. It's the responsiveness of your game, the actual feeling that you get. And today we're going to be talking about the Reflex Low Latency Modes integration into Rainbow Six. So now that we know a little bit more about it, start off with something that's important to everyone, which is performance. Does Reflex improve performance? So it depends what you mean by performance. So often I think when gamers talk about performance, they're really talking about frames per second, but there are other metrics to consider when thinking about performance. You have your FPS, which is basically the number of images that you're getting to your eyes per second. That uh, basically FPS provides things like smoothness, motion clarity, and then one of the other benefits of FPS is responsiveness. Now, Though FPS does provide responsiveness, responsiveness or system latency is a whole metric in and of itself. And so what Reflex aims to do is actually improve the feeling of the game, the responsiveness of the game while maintaining the same FPS. And so it does this by working with the, uh, between the CPU and the GPU, helping those two components synchronize such that you get lower latency in game. It basically improves the feeling of the game while keeping the FPS the same. So you mentioned the relationship between CPU and GPU there. How is that relationship working to increase frames? Yeah, so again, it doesn't necessarily increase frames, but let me talk to you a little bit about the relationship between the CPU and GPU. So how 3D games work is generally the CPU is in charge of kind of two things. It's in charge for doing the simulation of the game. What that is, is basically the calculations it takes per frame to update the world, where players are, animations, figuring out what happened in that explosion. And then once it figures that out, it translates those actions into render commands. And so typically there's a, a, another thread or set of threads that um, compile those render commands and send them to the GPU to say, hey, okay, GPU, now go render these things. And so what NVIDIA Reflex is doing is it's basically working out the timings between when the CPU submits render commands and when the GPU starts working. Ideally, and in a GPU bound situation, work will pile up because the CPU will submit work too fast to the GPU. And what Reflex does is that it basically manages how quickly the CPU submits work to the GPU, such that it's submitting just in time for the GPU to start working on it. That way, those render commands and your click or your inputs aren't sitting in a queue waiting for the GPU to render. Now, that's a very technical explanation between what's going on, uh, but the thing to remember is it's basically synchronizing your CPU side work with your GPU side work such that your actions get through the pipeline as fast as possible. So then what is Reflex enabling for the Rainbow Six Siege experience that wasn't there before? Yeah, so this type of low latency mode uh, is really only possible with a game integration that works with the graphics driver. In order to do this type of pacing, you need information that only lives within the graphics driver, such that you know how long to kind of hold the CPU side for such that it can do that just-in-time submission. 
And so without an integration of NVIDIA Reflex, we're not able to provide as low of latency as we could without it. We're really excited to be working with Ubisoft and the Rainbow Six devs such that we can provide this lower latency to gamers playing Rainbow Six. Before we wrap this up then, because that was a lot of information, is there anything else you want the Rainbow Six Siege community to know about Reflex? Yeah, it's a good question. I think the thing to, to think about as a competitive gamer is that FPS isn't everything. Often when we talk about FPS, we really talk about the feeling that it provides to the game. And at the end of the day, that feeling is your system latency and, and not your FPS. Your FPS impacts the feel of the game, but it's not everything. And there's several optimizations that you can do throughout the pipeline, like getting a faster mouse or having a higher Hertz display that reduce system latency and provide that better feel without actually changing your frame rate. And so it's a little bit of a shift in how we think about performance as competitive gamers. But that thing that really impacts us the most is that responsiveness, that, high, that better responsiveness provides better precision when aiming. It provides us the ability to see a version of the game world that's closer to the simulation, such that our actions are more precise and we get better like hit registration. And so that responsiveness and really that lower latency is, is critical for us as competitive gamers. And so I think if you could remember anything about NVIDIA Reflex is that it's focused on providing better responsiveness and optimizing system latency. And that is really what's important to us as competitive gamers. Thanks for watching everyone. But before we wrap this up, there are a few bits of key information. Firstly, you'll need to have a GPU from the GTX 10 series or newer. Secondly, make sure you're running the latest NVIDIA game ready drivers. And finally, you'll need to be running the Vulkan version of the game. To launch that, all you need to do is head over to the Ubisoft Connect desktop app, hit play, and select the Vulkan version. Once you've got that covered, all that's left to do is head over into the display settings in game and enable the option. If you're still curious about NVIDIA Reflex, we'll drop a link down in the description below that'll have a bit more information. And as always, if you have any questions or feedback, you can also head over to the Rainbow Six Siege channels as well as the NVIDIA channels that we'll also link in the description below. But that's it for now. We'll see you later. Bye.